This is the Radio Reflection Podcast with Empress K. Welcome to the all new Reggae Reflection Podcast. This is Empress K. In this week's episode, this is a replay of the weekly Reggae Update. It airs every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. on Live 97.5 FM in Salisbury, Maryland on the iRevive show. Ready now? All right. Ready now. Welcome to April. Let's get into this week's Reggae Update for the week of April 3rd. Today, it's all about the Grammys. They take place tonight in Las Vegas, so I have another Reggae Grammy update coming up. Plus, I have some great events that are coming to the Delmarva area and a lot of new music this week, including some great soca out of Trinidad featuring a Haitian Creole artist as well. You're going to love it. Stay tuned. First up, I have some very sad news to share. We lost two musical legends this week in a matter of days. On March 29th, Tabby Diamond of the Mighty Diamonds was killed in what's described as a drive-by shooting. And on the heels of that tragic news, Bunny Diamond passed away on Friday, April 1st. Bunny Diamond had been sick for quite some time and actually had not been touring in the last few years. However, it was still quite a shock to lose them both in such a short amount of time. In 2019, the Mighty Diamonds celebrated 50 years together, and they had planned big celebrations for 2020. Unfortunately, that was cut short by COVID. In 2021, on National Heroes Day, which is in October, they were awarded an Order of Distinction from the Jamaican government for their contributions to Jamaican music. It's wonderful that they were all able to be present for that prestigious award. Our condolences go out to Judge Diamond and to the family, friends, and fans of the Mighty Diamonds. Stay tuned for more news right after this. This week's birthdays. Happy birthday goes out to D'Angel. She celebrated her birthday on April 1st, and the late Garnet Silk's birthday was on April 2nd. Charlie Black and Tommy Cohen celebrate their birthday on April 6th. And speaking of Tommy Cohen, his daughter Naomi Cohen is in my music news this week. That's coming up. These are this week's headlines. This is the first time that the Grammys will take place in Las Vegas, and you can catch all the excitement tonight on the CBS network at 8 p.m. And this afternoon, there will be a pre-award show, and typically around late afternoon is when you will hear the Best Reggae Album category. This year, there are six albums for consideration of Best Reggae Album, and that includes Spice and Atana. This is the first time that two females make the list. Spice for her debut album, 10, and Atana for her album, Pomoja. This is Atana's second nomination. Jesse Royal receives his first nomination for his album, Royal. Gramps Morgan is nominated for his album, Positive Vibration. Soja receives their third nomination for their album, Beauty in the Silence. And Sean Paul is nominated for Live and Livin', which is his ninth nomination, and he has one win for his album, Dutty Rock, in 2004. Nigerian artist Wizkid is also nominated in a couple categories. He's nominated for Best Global Performance for his song Essence featuring Thames. And he's also nominated in the Best Global Music Album category for his album Made in Lagos Deluxe Edition. Some reports online are that Sean Paul is favored to win the Best Reggae Album category, but you're going to have to tune in this afternoon to see for yourself or tune in to iRevives next week and I'll let you know in the Reggae Update. The Concert Calendar so many important events to celebrate. Delmarva will be having some great events this summer and Ocean City is going to be the place to be. In June, Ballyhoo is performing on the 15th. On the 22nd and 23rd, Michael Franti. And on July 5th, Holly Buds, all taking place at Secrets. If you're looking to get away for a destination music festival, I have the one for you. Rotatom Sunsplash is returning this year. It's the largest reggae festival in Europe, taking place August 16th through the 22nd in Spain. And they have already announced some of their headliners, including Damian Marley, Burning Spear, Alba Rosie, Barrington Levy, Julian Marley, and many more artists have already been confirmed and many more to be announced. And you can find out more information on the reggaereflection.com calendar. Big up Rock to Mike for letting me know about this next event that's going to take place on April 8th in Greenville, South Carolina. Reggae artist Dynamic will be having a single release event for his new single, Trample the Beast, that's coming out on April 8th as well. The event will take place at Miari and there will be a live performance from Dynamic as well as sound from Golden Symphony and DJ Patois. And tune in next week because I'm going to have a premiere of Trample the Beast. You're going to love it. 
New Music Spotlight. Hooah! There are a lot of great new releases out this week, and here are a few that you can add to your playlist. Morgan Heritage has brand new visuals for their song, Headline Through Front Page, featuring Jashi, Ridicle, and I Octane. Chronix has released Never Give Up, his first single for the year. Black Uhuru is celebrating 50 years, and they have a new single out called Brand New Day, which is the title track of their album, which will drop on May 13th. And they're getting ready to hit the road in May, right around that album release date as well. Right in time for the spring summer season, Naomi Cowan has a new video out for her song Holiday, which is track number one on her Star Girl mixtape presented by Walshy Fire and Major Lazer. It's a fun video. It was shot in Brooklyn, so it has some great scenery. Plus, it showcases Naomi's roller skating skills. Check it out. Last week, Reggae Pal played some great soca tunes on I Revives, and this week I have a brand new soca style song. This one's going to have you dancing. It's from one of my favorite bands, Kez the Band out of Trinidad and Tobago, and it also features Haitian singer Jay Perry and Haitian producer Michael Brune. It's sung in both English and Haitian Creole, and it was co-produced and co-written by Trini-based Diwala. This is Licky Ticky. Enjoy this featured song, and remember to keep it locked to I Revives every Sunday, 1 to 4, for the best in roots, rock, reggae, dancehall, Afrobeat, soca, and more. If you want to catch me live, tune in next week to I Revives on Live 97.5, 1 to 4, and I'll be on at 2.30. In the meantime, please take care and be safe. I'm out.